Hey everyone, welcome back to By Devin Nails. Today I am getting ready to swatch the August releases for I Dipped That. They've got seven beautiful colors, um, two duos and a trio. There's going to be one release each week throughout August starting with August 11th. So let's get started with this swatching. So we've got our three collections here. We'll start with the first duo. So in this one, we've got peach tea and strawberry lemonade. Get this little bag open. These are releasing on August 11th. So you do not have to wait very long to grab up these. So we've got strawberry lemonade and peach tree peach tea, not peach tree, peach tea. Get these open here, take a look, and then we will swatch them. So peach tea is a fine glitter mix. Looks like we've got kind of a darker red in here, um, maybe a rose gold and some white and silver. That close to the camera, get it to focus for y'all. There it goes. So you can see that this is I think I called it a small, but it's probably actually better um, described as a, um, I think I called it a fine glitter. I think it's better described as a small glitter, but we do have some color shifting in there. That is just gorgeous. So this is peach tea. So let's get that on a swatch stick. I am using my IDT liquids. I've been using these for about a month for all of my manis, both on my natural nails, on my press-ons and on um, tips that I've already put on. So these are tips that I put on and then I dipped um, and I used these liquids for all of those. And I've got to tell you all, I am super impressed. I think that they are difficult to contaminate. They have a great, for me, dry time. It is not too fast, not too slow, so a happy medium and it is going swimmingly. So if you're looking for new liquids that are gonna be difficult to contaminate, I would definitely check these out. So this is gorgeous. So it's just one dip. You could definitely do this as an overlay over a darker color, or if you really wanted more of that red. This is really, really pretty. And you can see all that color shifting in there. So this is going to go with a lot of different things and definitely gives really great fall vibes. And then we've got strawberry lemonade. So this is a pinky color. Definitely giving strawberry vibes here with a little bit of a shimmer. So if you can get that to focus. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. So you can see that shimmer in there. Let's get this on to a swatch. And I'm thinking that these are both going to look really lovely with the colors of the Rainforest collection that came out a week or two ago. It had some really pretty um, jewel tones in it, and these are giving me similar feels, similar vibes. And I might pour these into a cupcake liner. I really want to get my whole swatch deck in. It's a little too big. All right, let's see. Let's grab out a cupcake. Let's grab out a cupcake liner, y'all. All right, this is gorgeous. I'm really, really liking this color. It is a softer pink, so definitely not like a bright neon Barbie pink, but it's really pretty. It's gonna be really pretty for fall, really pretty for this transition season that we're in where we don't necessarily want those like dark, dark fall colors. We still want some fun. And then here they are together really pretty together and then here oh not that one here we've got some of those um colors of the rainforest colors so this is there and then this one also comes from there that would be really pretty all right so we've got peach tea 
and strawberry lemonade. I'm going to dust these off, do a second layer. Do, do, do. Especially of this one because I think it's going to be really buildable. It's got a little bit of jelliness to it, a little bit of translucentness. Definitely do if you had like a chunky glitter. Could do a really pretty peekaboo, but it's not too jelly. So if you're not into jelly, I definitely wouldn't avoid it because I don't think it's too jelly for somebody who doesn't like jellies. I think it would be perfect. Oh yeah. You're going to get a much deeper color if you go in with two layers. Which is so pretty. It has really great shine. I just love that color shifting in these glitters. It's so pretty but so subtle. I think that is what I love about fall colors. Is they still are really dynamic and fun. There's a certain amount of like subtleness to kind of the sparkle and all the different colors that are going on that I really, really like. All right. Got that in there. We'll come back and activate and top coat all of them at the end. The release on the 18th of August is a trio. So we've got Beach Sunsets. I really like the idea of beach sunsets kind of at the end of summer, almost like the sunset of summer. Maybe I'm being too corny. So this has a purple pull to it. I think on camera it's looking very similar to how Strawberry Lemonade looked, but it is more purple in person than Strawberry Lemonade, but definitely could go together. And we've got Summer Love. Oh, it's a glitter. Oh. So we got, I see like some purples in there, some golds, more of that color shifty. We're gonna have to really wait until we get this on to see how beautiful it is. And the last one is Nude, N-O-O-D. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. when it is like a so this is a creamy color it's looking a lot more white on camera than it is in person it has just a slight pull to some like earthy tones like a peach a little bit I get like a little bit of a brown vibe but very very subtle tan maybe is a better word for it than brown so let's get these three on Let's start with this nude because it's right here. Oh, that's really pretty. Um, it's really looking a lot more white on camera than it is in person. Let me see if I change the coloring of my um, my light, if that will help. Uh, I don't know. Now it's just looking a little yellow. Yeah, this one, hopefully in pictures it will show up better because it's definitely more pink than the white that it's looking So now we've got Summer Love, which is this intriguing glitter that we're not exactly sure what it's going to look like because when we dust it off, it's going to look very different. Yeah, so if you want a more um, kind of sparse look, you can kind of um, pour over. If you want a more covered, dense look for this glitter, you're going to want to... Um, either dip in or lay in. So we've got two different looks that you could do. So it'd be really pretty as like an overlay or an ombre of glitter. Okay, I'll let that. Ooh, so shiny. Look at that, that's really fun. You can get it to, huh? Maybe you want to. Mm. 
Ooh, that is so fun. Definitely jewel tone, definitely fall, love it. All right, let's see if we can get a second layer on here. You have a slightly slower drying liquid. I think that would be good for this one. The IDT liquids are a medium dry drying, which I think will be perfect when doing these on a mani because you might want to slide over a glitter here or there just to get some really full coverage. Yeah, laying in is definitely doing better on this one for getting full coverage. So pretty. Alright, I'm going to let that dry before I dust it off. Pour these back in. And then here comes the third of this trio. So we had Nude, Summer Love, and now this is Beach Sunset. And these are the 2nd August release with a release date of the 18th. And one of the cool things that IDT is doing, and they started a week or two ago, when you make an order, you can pay just $1 and get a swatch stick for every single color that you buy. And it is just a dollar. If you buy 50, you will get 50 swatch sticks for a dollar. If you buy 10, you will get 10 for a dollar. So that's really awesome. I know people are often asking, um, you know, if you want, if you don't use a lot of swatch sticks, you might not want to buy those huge packs on Amazon and some other sites. So this is a really great way to get them and have them. Um, I do not believe that they come labeled, so you would still need to be labeling them. And they're not coming like pre-made. It's just the swatch stick so that you can make a swatch for each color from IDT that you got. And I know swatching takes... It can take a lot of time. Uh, and we've been making this video for 15 minutes and we are, we're almost done. Um, that included a little bit of like introduction and me being Gabby. But I really like making swatches. I think you get a good idea of how the dip is like working. So that way when you go to use it, you have a little bit of idea of is it going to be jelly? Is it going to be like with... Um, Summer Love, it's just something that I definitely don't want to pour over. I mean, you could pour over Summer Love. I don't mean to say that you can't. But if I wanted um, really, really full coverage, it did better with the full coverage laying in than pouring over. So, like, knowing those things before you start your mani, I think, is super, super helpful. And that's what I love to get out of swatching. Oh, I think that this would probably chrome. Definitely has that. I always look inside the caps. Ah, if I can pick it up. If it has kind of that shimmer inside the cap, often means it would chrome. I'm wondering how this would look chromed over nude with Summer Love. I think that would be really, really pretty. All right. So, Summer Sunset, Summer Love, and Nude are releasing on August 18th. We got two more here. This is the third duo. I'm sorry, the third set, it is the second duo, and it is releasing on August 25th. So here we go, we've got Grab a Sweater and Cooler Nights. Let's start with, let's start with Cooler Nights because Grab a Sweater has these little bits in it and I don't wanna get them mixed in when I reuse my cupcake liner. So this is Cooler Nights. It is more purple and it is similar to um, those two other colors that we had with Beach Sunset and Strawberry Lemonade in this like little bit of a shimmer. So we're getting three new shimmers between these collections and two glitters and then Grab a Sweater is kind of like a glitter. You'll see when I open it, it's, I'm not sure if they are foils. We'll look when we see when we open it, but those are super fun to use um, and I can give you some tips just kind of like a chunky glitter it's not hard you just have to know 
kind of how to manipulate it so that you can get the look that you want. All right, so get this in here. Ooh, I love this color. It's so pretty. These are going to look so pretty together, these shimmers. That is really fun. You could do some really pretty color blocking with that. All right, so we've got one dip on here of our Cooler Nights. Do a second dip, and as always, you can always put in Devon D E V O N at checkout for I dipped that, and all of these beautiful colors are always going to come up with whatever the current largest discount is. It will always be at least 35%, but um, they have had sales up to 50%. Usually, we're an out there now, so it won't be like I mean, unless you just did it, no, it's not like a, a surprise. Um, but 35% and they already have some of the lower prices um, from the smaller dip company. So you're getting a really good deal. I always feel like I get a ton of stuff. All right. And here is our last one coming up. Grab a sweater. So grab a sweater is a chunky dip with these little kind of like shard pieces. So I'm definitely going to do um, laying in. These are also really fun to use as kind of a, like a layover or an ombre if you're doing a pour over, but you are gonna get less of them in a pour over. If you're using gel, this can be a really good time to use gel so that you can kind of manipulate them and move them around. They would totally work with a dip base though. So definitely don't avoid them if you're not using gel. I don't always use, I usually always use my dip liquids. I rarely use gel. Um, I do every once in a while. All right, so no lay in here. Lay over here. All right. You can see this is you can get a full coverage look, um, but the laying in is the best way to get that. And even I did not do the best laying in. I think I could have done a better job. So let these dry a little. Brush them off. You see how pretty these are. Super shiny. All right, let's go in with a second layer. I'm going to try to get more of them this time. We're going to kind of tap this to bring them to the top. There we go. That was better on my part. So definitely tap it. That'll bring them to the top. I'm going to kind of press them down here. The cool thing about these is that usually they are pretty... Um, they're like okay to buff because unlike some glitters that will lose their color and you'll see like the silver underneath, I think they're called like a hollow glitter, not like hollow, like the color hollow, but like hollow, like empty. Um, I'm not positive, but that's not what they're called though. So, um, these will not have that. I don't think so. Even if you have one that's kind of sticking up, you should be okay too. So I'm going to let this dry. And while I do that, I'm going to react, I'm not reactivate, I'm going to activate the others. Oh, it's so full. All right, that's in it. All right, so here they all are. And I'm going to um, wipe them down and I'm going to top coat them. And then I will show you all the reveal picture. So once again, these are um, a duo a trio and then a second duo releasing in August.